Hello, my name is Cars82 and welcome back to our Divine Journey 2 playthrough. Last episode we started getting our mechanism plastic up and running. I have crafted a bunch of substrates and uh, I really need a second pressurized reaction chamber but uh, it is rather expensive so I think I'm actually just going to at the moment just move that over here basically i set up a, a place for that so we got our oxygen in there and then the liquid ethylene will go in there and then it'll go in there instead of the water and the hydrogen unfortunately getting the stuff out of the pre the containers is kind of a pain uh, there is a gauge dropper i have no idea if it's difficult it is not but uh yeah so it is a bit of a pain because when you break them you don't lose uh you don't lose the the stuff on the inside so let me just we got fluid from that side gases from the right side uh but i need to get this stuff out and uh unfortunately <laughs> you have to like do it like manually i don't think yeah see like that doesn't work i can't shift click it out i can't Oh, you could just shift click it. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. So apparently you could just shift click it. All right. And that should be. Oh, those look really similar, don't they? I guess I thought that would have been auto outputting. Fluids, fluid yellow. Looks like it's going in there. Uh, I guess we could. Okay, we just try that. There it goes. Liquid ethylene in there. Now we'll switch that to that, and that will push the oxygen in there. We do have some ethylene. It may it may not work if we do it that way, but uh, I think I can put that in there. All right, just try not to waste the stuff if possible. Okay, so got liquid ethylene, we got that, and I don't have power. Totally forgot to do the power. Um, so I don't know. I don't know how much of this plastic we're actually going to need, to be honest. I was looking at recipes, and I'm sure I'm probably not seeing one somewhere. But I'm not really seeing, like, this rod, the plastic. I mean, this makes fences. Mystical stick. All right, so mystical sticks needs these. All right, I just found one. Are we going to need these? I don't know. This is for the the tools. I'm like, are we going to need the tools for anything? I don't know. Uh, the sheets, again, is one of these something we're going to need. I I mean, these are just panels. I don't, I don't know about that. There is the, this one, though, uh, which is the glass lenses. But again, we don't, unless, I don't. I don't think that's something we like craft like tons and tons of unless there is some recipe i don't know so that's what i'm saying like unless i spend hours and hours going through jei and stuff i don't really know how important these are um to get fully automated eventually we'll get another prc and uh this will be just fully automated anyway but at the moment uh, I just didn't feel like it was necessary crafting up another one and spending all these resources and stuff for something that 
it's not super important but uh all right there we go there is our pellets we get speed upgrades and energy i actually don't know i don't think i've looked at the energy upgrades yet thinking about it all right so it's just those um with oz go glass is that more expensive that's actually that is actually more expensive i guess we'll take those just because they're more expensive i usually uh I would usually go with the the speed ones, but yeah, like I said, those are more expensive. All right, so plastic. Create some plastic sheets either by crafting or in the enrichment chamber. The latter is preferable as it is much cheaper. Then use four plastic sheets and half a bucket to create the industrial foregoing plastic. All right, where is this? Ah, there's the recipe. I never remember to look at that recipe because it's a bucket. Why Why isn't it just like a... <laughs> why don't they just show the machine? All the other ones show the machine and then the fluid transposer is the bucket. So I never think to look at that. That's how you make the plastic. I was trying... I couldn't figure it out like how we were going to do that. All right. So that. And then I think we can use this to get the latex thingy. Right? I don't remember how, is it for is it latex? All right, so it is five. Oof, that is expensive. But uh, yeah, that will let us get. Yeah, there's the better plastic. That's what I was looking for. Um, anyway, let's get this. So, enrichment chamber. We'll just throw that in there. It is a better ratio, so there's no reason not to put it in there. And then, yeah, we'll use the other thing to the latex to create the yeah tiny dry rubber, which is dry rubber, which is sheets. So much much easier. But we do need this. So plastic, I need to craft up the fluid allocator. I mean, none of this is too crazy. Device frames a little bit. But uh, enderium. And then this. Block steel. Fizzled stone. That's a bit weird. Um... And then the enhanced machine parts. Do we have four of those? We actually got, yeah, we have enough and we got two more chassis. All right, cool. So let me, uh, we'll finish with this and let me, uh, guess, get the, that stuff ready. Okay, we are back. And I was, I was crafting stuff up, working towards the latex uh, processing, whatever it's called. I realized uh, I made a little bit of a, miscalculation the HTPE sheets which we sent through the enrichment chamber I did get 29 from uh, what we had and uh, I was about to throw it in the fluid transposer with creosote and I realized that's actually nutrient distillation so made a little mistake there um, so what that means is I needed to craft up a vat now the vat is not terrible not uh, not like super crazy or anything like that. The flute tanks are a bit annoying, but uh, as I was doing that, I realized, well, part realized and part from a comment that we can make some of these uh, rods in a sawmill. So instead of having to put them through the metal presses, um, I can do them in sawmill from thermal or the precision sawmill from a mechanism i don't have that one yet right yeah i didn't think i did but if i ever get that we can do that and that's probably how we'll automate it um and i think i think everything from the this metal press we can actually get from other machines so the sawmill we can do that and that gives us the copper wires uh and I mean, I haven't done bullets. We have a thing for the gear and the plates and 
the thing. So I can actually break that down, I think. I don't think it is... I don't think it's needed anymore. Uh, now that we have some other machines. Obviously, this is pretty slow. It's not upgraded yet, but uh, we can get it pretty quick, I think. So I have gone ahead and crafted up the VAT. I didn't do the enhanced VAT. I know we could have, but... Um, it requires four of these small ones, the regular vats. So I just crafted up a regular vat and we will upgrade it. I'm sure eventually. Um, I do need a capacitor. We'll just do the very basic one for now. Thankfully, this recipe, this unending bowl, which I did craft up, gives energized dark energy. This was kind of nice. Um, so I've gone ahead and crafted up this enter, this unending bowl. Um, you can do it in a crafting table, two dark steel ingots, or you can do it in the fake crafting with one. Uh, but I wasn't sure how this works, to be honest. So I crafted up another set of these, which are really easy. They're cheap. Just a water bucket and some iron for the uh, thing. But I left that there just in case uh, I didn't like this unending thing. And, uh, yeah, so we'll see how this works. I'm assuming it's just kind of like a infinite tank would be my guess. So if I place that on top, yeah, it just, it's like a sink or any sort of just infinite water source. All right. So I could, I could have changed that. It doesn't really matter. Um, I just didn't know if this was like an input output or how that worked or what, but uh, yeah, that works. Okay, so I got that, we got that, and now I need the nutrient distillation. I think, obviously, if we have a mob farm getting us skulls, that would be ideal. And then we have, you know, we could even craft up the fermented spider eyes if we wanted. Um, I could do you know, a farm. And that's terrifying. Sharing a... <laughs> How terrified would that be? Sharing a person-sized spider for eyes? Ugh, grosses me out. Uh, but I think we'll just do... At this point, the easiest I have is the sugar. Also, is there a better, more efficient way to get this? Eight to two. No, that's not right. That gives us two if we put it in there. I was just curious if there is like a... Oh, a sagmal. We could throw it in a sagmal. Is it worth getting some extra sugar? Probably not. Is it worth using up <laughs> vibrant alloy? But uh, apparently I throwed osmium in there. I completely forgot about it. That's three stacks of osmium from 50 ore. So you do actually get a pretty decent amount from that. I'm going to throw that in there anyway. And, uh... I'm like, I don't know if it's it's not necessary to do this, but uh, how many did we... What did I put in there? 22? I'm curious. I'm, oh, we just got three from one. So yeah, it definitely is a bit better. Uh, so we got our sugar... And I should have some, like, rotten flesh. I, yeah, I have some. Not a ton. Question is, how much of this do we want? How about I do 16 and 16? Let's do... Really? <laughs> I definitely need a magnet. There we go. That's... And that will get us the... Nutrient Distillation. And then the Nutrient Distillation goes in the Fluid Transposer. And we get our Elastic. So we get 375 from this one. Obviously, if you do better multipliers, you get, get more of the stuff. 
So that is slightly awkward. What if I could? Yeah, I was like, eh, I don't know if there's any way for me to put that. Uh, I just don't have the dark ingots. So this, and then that. All right, cool. So there we go. There is the plastic for that. Let me finish getting the rest of the stuff for the latex unit, and uh, we will be back. And I think we are finished with all this. Chiseled stone is just stone slabs and then smelted. But uh, that is one of those. I'm not going to do any extra at the moment. Our fluid allocator. Not too bad. Now, what does that do? Stores and transfers fluids. I don't think I've ever used this before. Oh, look at that. That's cool. You can unlock it and... Uh, I thought maybe you could do... Like a different side, different color kind of thing. I don't know. Are there any good uses for this? I'm thinking, I'm like, could that somehow work with that but i mean some of these are gases it doesn't doesn't really work i don't um, i don't ha i don't have like mench like complicated fluid stuff at the moment so i can't really think of anything off the top of my head but uh really fluid allocator doesn't can i just put that in there ah. i've been having some weird jei Not like recognizing this stuff. And then machine case. There we go. Latex processing units. All right, cool. So. Oh, I totally forgot about the tree fluid extractor. No, I totally forgot about that part. <laughs> no. <laughs> we do have a boreal extractor. All right, dang it. I knew we. I was probably getting too ahead of myself. I was thinking the latex was what the, is what collected the sap, but no, that's what you feed the sap with the water into it. Whoops, messed that one up. All right, uh, well, gonna have to flip this back and create some more plastic because I actually don't have enough for that second one and I also need no, I have, I have, uh, I have an extra two from that quest. Unless I get plastic from somewhere. No. Dang it. Highly doubt I get plastic from that. Oh, look at that. I got 16 energy upgrades. That's cool. Um, yeah. All right. So I'm going to have to put this back and craft up more because I didn't, I didn't make enough in the first place. But uh, not the end of the world. With that. Ooh. I don't want to lose that. Um, all right. I'm just going to have to fill that up. I'll probably put it in something. A tank. Tank somewhere. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Maybe... I could put like a tanker there so it goes into the tank and then out. Okay, there is the plastic. Um, I set up a drawer for the substrate. Because uh, I figure I'll probably, at some point, we'll have this automated. Uh, I didn't feel like having to manually move it. All right. There we go. So, not too bad. This machine case is actually pretty easy, other than the enhanced machine parts. It's relatively easy. XP tap, really, really easy. There is the tree fluid extractor. There we go. 
I don't know which one I want actually with that. Have I found a diamond? I can't remember if I found a diamond. I think there is a diamond. Yeah, there is a excavator vein for it. Uh, I haven't found it yet though. Uh, all right, so tree fluid extractor. I believe that just is basically the same as the other one, and I'm pretty sure this doesn't need. Yeah, this doesn't need power. I don't remember if the latex processing unit needs power. Does this one need power? All right, this one does need power. So I'm thinking. Oh, wait, this is, no, I'm just remembering this isn't the tree thing. This is, it slowly breaks the block. I had forgotten about that. Uh, so the best way to do that is just like a dispenser or a placer or something. Dispenser, is that, is that what I want? Is that, that doesn't place blocks, does it? I can't remember. Usually I use the auto placer, but it is blocked. Although there is a block placer, apparently. I didn't know there was a block placer in Industrial Foregoing. Alright, so why don't we get, uh, how about I craft up Oh, that has empowered. I just realized that isn't powered. That's not what I want. Yeah, I'm just thinking, why don't we use this to get the plastic? Although we might actually have four plastic. I have two. I think I have... No, I only have... Oh, I mean, I can throw more stuff in there if I want. All right, let me uh, let me get this placed. I guess uh, I'll, I'll put this kind of close to this so we can have the power. So I guess we'll do that and then that. Do I have? Oh, I only have item conduits. I haven't got the fluid conduits yet, have we? No, I don't think I have crafted these up at all. We can actually do that if I wanted, but I'm sure we can do... We'll just do, like, mechanical pipes or something like that. But, uh, all right, so this we want... Do this... And it slowly, like, eats the, slowly eats these uh, blocks and gets fluid latex. And we want the fluid latex in there. No, I need more. I need more uh, leadstone. I know it's how much RF power did we have? Five. We're good for a little bit. Alright. So that's going there. I could probably do one of the extract well, actually I don't know. The that item I want I would want fluid transfer pole requires plastic um, and I could just actually put that in there and I can have it pull from this tank but I think we'll just do this 
Man, I don't like how they have... You can't see. I may actually switch that in my configs. There we go. Um... Now, water. I may borrow this. Or I may borrow this. Should we just borrow this? I'm assuming we could just do this and then pull. There we go. All right. So, and there is the tiny dry rubber. Nine of those equal one of those, and then you just smelt it. Easy. Easy. The problem is automating this. We can see it's starting to slowly break the block, and eventually it will break. So you want something to auto-place these blocks down, and you also want to pull these items out because... It does fill up uh, relatively quickly, and you can only fit so much in here. So once you condense it down to the nine, you actually don't have that much. But I'm actually not going to worry about that. We'll just let that run for a while and do that. kind of want to check out that block placer. I've never actually used it before. And... Is plastic. And there we go. That was actually pretty easy to make. And then eventually we will probably upgrade it to the auto placer if needed. Like I said, I've never actually used this, so I don't know. Don't know. I think that is actually placed placed that way. All right. It does need power. That was I was kind of curious if it needed. Um, maybe. Just noticing the side left north uh, when I when I uh, crouch. I'm assuming if I just do that and then give it power, it's just going to play some. I, I don't know why. I don't can't really see it being any more complicated than that for a block placer. So we'll just do it and see what happens. Also, we'll just break this. Yeah. All right. There we go. Simple enough, right? Might as well just throw a couple stacks in there. Has that block placer always been a part of industrial? I've never, I don't think I've ever used this in conjunction with this. I've always done the, the actually additions one. I don't know if there is a difference or, I mean, I guess it would depend if, it's cheaper or not. I mean, the actually additions one's gated behind this, so that's kind of the reason I used it. But, uh, okay, there we go. So that is just going to slowly work on that and get us dry rubber. If I wanted, I could always craft up more of these to speed it up. But uh, at this point, um, I think I'll just let it run for a bit and do its thing, and we will slowly build up our plastic. I'm not using a ton of it at the moment. So I'm not in like a huge rush for that. Okay, so if I want to, we're moving this way. So the next part, it looks like I do need to get, yeah, the pink slime ingot. So yeah, pink slime mithril gets us the pink slime ingot. And then pink slime ingots, probably something. The crystalline pink slime ingot. And then the crystalline brown. All right, but we do need a fertilizer as well. So there are a couple things we need to do here. Sterling generator, plastic. 
Podzol. Alright, probably gonna have to craft that. I don't have... Oh, you can just do biofuel in a... That's easy enough. Uh, a thing right there. But I don't think I have enough enhanced machine parts. Just kidding, I do. I just used that other one we had. Alright. And I've forgotten what's... Oh, it's slabs. That's right. Stone. That and that and then this in here. All right, cool. So we are making progress. We got our first industrial foregoing machines and we are crafting up easier plastic now that we finish this process. And... With that, we will get a sewage or a sewage compost or whatever it's called and a mob slaughter factory. Yeah, there is the sewage composter. Oh, we need the sewer first. That's right. And then when the animals are in range of that, it'll fill with sewage and then this turns it into fertilizer. So... One, two, one, two, three machines. And for some reason, it wants us to get a potion brewer as well. So a few things we need to do here. I don't know why that is locked behind. There's probably a reason that this is locked behind the potion brewer. I don't. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. It's not locked behind it. Just kidding. Uh, these are separate. I was thinking that was locked, but of course not. This is already unlocked. Okay, so we'll get into that next episode, and maybe I, we might be able to get that next episode, actually. Um, and then I really want that. Uh, the Mega Torch, because as I was crafting this stuff up, I got attacked by one of those dogs again. So that is a bit annoying. But anyway, that's going to be for today. So thanks for watching, and have a good one.